How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright. We're going to do Turnabout Goodbyes Day 3 Investigation. I am recording this the day after I did the last two sets of videos, because I just I can't stop playing. I have to see what's going to happen. It's funny, because today is June 3rd that I'm recording this, which is the day I uploaded the first video where we met Von Karma, and people are, like, giving me suggestions on what voice to use. I'm like, uh, uh I hate to break it to you. <laughs> I've already recorded eight more episodes, plus uh, some more right now, so... Your advice will not be taken, but thank you anyway. So here we go. I just can't stop playing. I'm recording so much in advance just because I, I have to know what's going on. We know who the killer is now, pretty much, it seems. It seems like we got it, but apparently Edgeworth killed his dad or something because he's like, oh, there's a crime I committed. I couldn't just leave that hanging. I have to see what he meant. Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? That's, is that supposed to be a complete sentence? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never take someone's life. Never. Nick? Uh, yo, how's everyone doing? What do you think of my performance today? I had him swooning in the aisles, huh, Maya? Swooning? Me? Oh, uh, oh yes. I do remember feeling faint. <laughs> okay. Right on. Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? That was not the first time she saw you. Right, Nick? For me? No. I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. I think you can do better than that. What? Come on. I saved Edgeworth in there, dude. Edgy? You guys should be bowing before me. Yeah, bow before your hero. No. Do you have anything else to say, though? Larry, you really helped out in the trial today. You did. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. He was found guilty. There's no speculation needed. But seriously, Nick, that boat shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. A uh, little bit. But Edgy ain't off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know. But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty edgy. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? Nick? I don't know. But what I do know is, I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Us two? Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? No, you're not helpful. He means me, right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. I'm sorry. No. I'll believe in your sister. Huh? Um, actually, yeah, why me, Nick? Huh, <laughs> enough with the silent treatment. Uh, anyway. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait, was that when you two were classmates? Yes, in grade school. They saved me, Miles and Larry. They saved me, and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know. What? Hey, hey Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Oh, uh, uh sorry, I kind of forgot. Huh? Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear this story today, and that's final. Okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. I'd rather just kind of, kind of focus on the, the present case. I don't really care about your past, but okay. A class trial. Oh, dear. A class trial? I mean, I care. I just care so much more about what's happening in the present. Do you really have to interrupt the most interesting case in the game with this? A kid in my class got his lunch money stolen. <laughs> lunch money? Our school was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. Well, was she, like, actually questioning lunch money, like, as if she didn't know what it was? Like, it's not, that's not, like, unique to your school. It's money for lunch. I've never heard of it being a monthly thing. You kind of just pay for the lunch when you get it, but, you know, lunch money. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared, with $38 still inside. Aw, oh, shit, man. You took that kid's life savings. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class. I was coming down with the cold, so I'd skip P.E. that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? So the next day, we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. That's odd for the teacher to uh, allow such things. I didn't do it. Guilty, he did it. 
Guilty, it was you. Thief, give me my money back. You're such a meanie. No one play with him. Just admit you did it. You can't hide the truth. Tell us the truth. We're not going to play with you anymore. Yeah, no borrowing my eraser. He shouldn't be allowed on the relay race or on the library committee. Give me back my 50 cents I loaned you. Hey, did you rob that bank the other day? <laughs> did you? That escalated really fast right there at the end. Did you rob that bank the other day? Oh, fuck. I did not steal your lunch money, but yes, I did in fact rob the bank. Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Apologize to the class, Phoenix. What is that on his shirt? Both the thing printed on the shirt and the thing like, clipped to it. That's how you know this isn't Japan, though. They're not wearing uniforms. I tried to apologize. I went over to where the boy was sitting. That's when it happened. He shouldn't have to apologize. This is Edgeworth. I guess. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed. Amateurs. Miles? <laughs> you know, a little shit wearing a bow tie to school. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? Oh, it was his money. Yeah, he was loaded. 38 whole bucks. He's a rich kid. And <laughs> you shouldn't apologize. For a fourth grader or whatever, 38 bucks would be very sad if it went missing. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say he's sorry. Why don't you all just shut up? Whoa. Okay. Uh, I thought he wasn't... I thought you said he wasn't... Oh, this is the next day. He wasn't there when it happened. He was there the next day for the trial. This kid's naked. <laughs> just think how he feels. He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Why didn't you become a defense attorney, Larry? You're really good. Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. This was a waste of time. We could have been studying our long division. I legitimately don't remember how to do long division. So, fuck you, U.S. school system, for failing on every possible level. I don't remember jack that I learned there. Except for the most unimportant things. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. I remember back in school when it was like, oh, uh, can we use a calculator on this test? And the teacher would be like, oh, what? You think in real life, out in the real world, you're going to have a calculator with you all the time? Uh, yes, actually, and 700 other things all in my phone, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> you did a good thing, Larry. Uh, yeah, well, I was just lucky that I took the day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. So I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the butts. Well, okay. Anyway, Edgeworth... Oh, anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard that his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. Then why did he kill him? <laughs> I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. Maybe it's because his dad lost the case that day, so he murdered him. <laughs> a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The DL6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. I don't even know if we're going to investigate anything today. We might just talk, because I don't know what else there is to investigate. It was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. <laughs> Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict, anything. But why? What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. That's what I thought, too. I tried to get in touch with him I don't know how many times. He never replied. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I couldn't just drop it, though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he had become who he became. That's when I decided. Wait, you don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet Edgeworth? If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. In court. Edgeworth believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Whoa, Nick. So, so, is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yes. I helped you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. Aw, oh, Nick. 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 We have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right, it very well may be. 
What? First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. What? He's a fucking werewolf, I hope. I guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Like what? How do you know you won't need it? What do we still have? Still a lot of it, though. We got rid of the lake photos. It seems like that's about it, really, actually. Yeah, I guess we really don't need them, but why would you, like, throw them out? Anyway, that's that. Let's leave. Uh... Uh... Is, is Edgeworth still there? I'll go there, just because it's at the top of the list. I will just... Yeah, he is. You look as grim as always. Huh. Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You... you don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade? Most people probably wouldn't really even remember that. <laughs> lunch money? Oh, oh right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who remembers. <laughs> well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe, yeah. But I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. Why prosecute? Well, because a defense attorney got off the guy who apparently killed his dad, maybe. And so he's like, damn defense attorneys, I'm gonna prosecute. Because the guy who did it got away, so he wants to prosecute to, to get them guilty. Because he feels bad that the guilty guy got away. You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? Yep, that's the thing. I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. He had to be the shooter, any way you look at it. Yet he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off of the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. Who is now dead. On that day, 15 years ago. You know, they brought up the Steel Samurai case before, how it was similar, because he framed Edgeworth the same way Hammer tried to frame Powers. What if it's also similar to the Steel Samurai case in what I said back then? Because during the Steel Samurai... I think I've already brought this up. But during the Steel Samurai, I thought maybe Hammer had gotten a guilty conscience and he was going to expose that he had accidentally killed the one guy and D. Vasquez killed him to stop him from exposing that. And uh, that is not what happened. It was self-defense. But maybe that's what happened in this case. Maybe Hammond felt guilty and he was going to say something and so Yana Yogi killed him to shut him up. I don't know. I'm going to keep repeating that theory until one of these games does it <laughs> in one of the cases. I will eventually be right. I guarantee it. I lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had been not of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. Well, then why the hell was Misty Fay? Why did they call her a fraud if he was just released due to lack of evidence? You know, I guess they just got on the bandwagon with Red White and whatever he did and shit to screw over her career. I started to hate defense attorneys. Von Karma, do you, what do you think of that guy? What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher, and a man who res deserves respect. <laughs> no. I learned everything I know of courtroom te techniques from him. So he's like my sister was to you, Nick. Except his boobs aren't nearly as nice. He's a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life. He is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent, ever. But... but that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case... 
it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Question for you guys. Comment question of the day. If you had to choose, this is like a really tough question and there's a lot to it, but if you just had to go with your gut and choose, you had to pick between a guilty person going free, and let's not go into specifics with like the crimes committed, allegedly. A guilty person going free or an innocent person going away, which would you pick? I would let the guilty person go free. I, I cannot, I could not, I know it's, it's a t terrible either way because a guilty person could go out and commit more crime, but I just could not deal with someone innocent like going to prison for life or something, you know? That's why movies like Shawshank, that's why people love them because it's like, yeah, he got, he didn't do it and he got out. Or The Fugitive. He, he didn't do it, and he, he proved it, and it's all good. People love that shit. I love that shit. Those movies are good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually watched both of those for the first time very recently. I had never seen The Fugitive or Shawshank, and I watched them both, and they were great. Especially Shawshank. But anyway, let's see if Gumshoe's here and if he wants to talk. He won't be coming back today. Oh, really? He said there was some guy he had to arrest by tomorrow. Well, yeah, they should definitely be out looking for him. Good luck, Gumshoe. Okay. Well, then, I guess we'll leave. Is the dog here? I wanted to say hi. We haven't really gotten to do anything with the dog. Will that ever come into play? We only use the metal detector. So I guess we'll go to Gord Lake. I don't know what the hell else we're going to find. I think most of it's going to happen in the courtroom tomorrow. Or today, or whatever. I don't know what, what... I think it's tomorrow. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. I guess it would be. Close one today. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. You... You snapped it? How does a tie snap? I mean, like, ripped. Maybe. Sorry about that. No problem, pal. That's to you. We, thanks to you, we, know, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch a criminal. You go do that. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. One other thing. Eek! Uh, a burp. Excuse me. Oh, dear. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lot is in a lot of trouble. Why? Why would she be? She's not. She doesn't need to camp anymore. She doesn't need to Gordy search because there's no Gordy. Whatever. Uh, can I go in anyway though? I can go to the beach at least. I don't know how far I can go. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. I guess Larry's been I guess Larry's been too busy with the trial to show up for work. Well, uh I guess that's that then. I could examine the spot where it was, but I don't wanna. Let's go to the rental shop where the crime took place. Why is the woods off limits? Shouldn't this place be? I mean I guess I don't know. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Ahem. I'm sorry. Well, there were like two people, Lotta Hart and him, who were here. So it had to be him, really. Oh, uh, hi. I was actually wondering. I, like, Grossberg's offices didn't seem to be on there. Maybe I just couldn't go on, go there from where I was. But he's here. I gotta plug in my 3DS. It's gonna die. 